TRS-80 video display. That's a Model 1 monitor and in this video I'm going to explain to you how the video system in the Model 1 works and how to go about fixing it. So, I'll show you the parts that are important. Uh, the horizontal and vertical synchronization are controlled by Z6 and Z57 down here. Z57. Those two signals are then synchronized with Z5 adjusted with R21 and R20 and then fed into uh, Q2 which is a transistor here and then they go out through the video socket to the monitor um, so what we find with a lot of um, Model 1 TRS-80s these days is when you switch them on you end up with synchronization that's out. First thing I've done is I don't go playing with the monitor. This monitor has been adjusted using a known good Model 1 so I know that with this picture doing this it's not the monitor causing the problem it's the computer. Um, now to help diagnose this I mean, I can look at that and I can tell you that's a, that's a um, horizontal problem and not a vertical problem. The way, uh, we do the, we, the way I can check it is with these two variable resistors down here, you've got R21, which controls the uh, vertical, and R20, which controls the horizontal. Now, if I go back to the picture of the screen, and adjust R21, the vertical, picture moves up and down the screen like it's supposed to. But if I change the horror if I alter R20, the horizontal there, nothing changes. So we know straight away the problem is going to be on the horizontal side. The horizontal the, the horizontal is the problem. The vertical uh, is not a problem in this case. So then we go to the schematic which hopefully my camera will be able to focus in on. So we've got R20 connects to H drive which goes through Z6 um, continues through there and makes its way to Z5 so and the the horror uh, the vertical as we can see which is going through re resistor 21 uh, goes through Z57 but like I said that's not a problem at the moment we know that it's this one here that's the problem so what I will do is put a, uh, a scope on it and see uh, if um, I can det deduce whether it's Z6 or Z5 or Z5 there it is Z5 that's causing the problem and I'll replace that part and see if that fixes our horizontal uh, uh, signal so I'm just going to stop the video here and we'll come back to it after I've um, replaced Z5 and we'll see if there's any change on the video display. So currently as we see it runs across the screen out of control and the controls here uh, they do nothing. The vertical one works fine, the horizontal one no effect. Okay and we're back. Uh, so I've replaced um, Z5. Okay, my soldering iron. I'll just turn that off. Don't need to waste electricity. So I was looking around Z5 and Z6 with my scope, and um, I couldn't determine which one was which. So I had a look in my parts collection, and 
74HC00 was the first one that came to hand so I thought it's probably that one anyway if not it will be that one and I'm either going to end up replacing one chip or two so I chose that one first Z5 removed it um, which on these boards I don't have a special desoldering station so I just clip all the legs off and then unsolder each pin put in a socket put in our chip and so this is the moment of truth it's all back together upside down of course let's hit the power and we're fixed memory size not rolling across the screen anymore so there you have it that's how you diagnose and fix display synchronization problems with the TRS-80 Model 1 Z6, Z5, Z57, R21, R20, Q2 if, you're, if you've got nothing at all on the screen and you're poking around with your scope and you're getting good signals, synchronization from everything else but no display have a look at Q2 if the display is dim, this one's good, but if the display is dim, just the last one to check, this little guy here, Z71, no, Z41, that one um, is responsible, oh, I can't explain why, but it controls the brightness, or make sure there's a bright picture, so if the picture's dim, but the computer otherwise works properly, Z41, so there you have it. Any questions? Send me an email. Happy to answer them. Thanks for watching.